Want to grow your business and take it to the next level? Well, here we all are. And we are going to show you how through hard work, perseverance, and a little help and know-how, you can take things to the next level and push the success of your business even further. Let's get going. Hey, welcome everyone. Paul Wright here and welcome to the next seven questions in seven minute practiceology podcast where we teach you the science of running an allied health business that works without you. And for today's episode, I've hit up Josh Meyer. Josh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Paul. It's um, it's a blast to be on here, mate, and um, an absolute pleasure. I've known who you are for a long time and yeah, it's just great to sit down with you finally. Well, let, let's get stuck in it. So Josh, uh, is a is an Australian physio, but he's moved into another area which we're going to talk about today. But he's served as a leader in the rehab and sports medicine space for over twenty years. He's owned physio clinics on the on the Gold Coast in Australia. Um, but seemingly healthy to most uh, looking on, he felt stuck in the conveyor belt of life, not content or present with most aspects of his life, which led him to his new pathway. So he's now a passionate life coach who uses a unique process to empower people in their midlife years to discover their personal purpose and start living it. He's happily married with two kids on the Gold Coast in Queensland. He, he's a fellow surf ski paddler, so we have a lot in common. And he's going to take us into the, the, the depths of his purpose and flow business in this seven minutes. So you right to go, mate? All good. All right, let's see how we go. We're in business. Josh Meyer, who is your ideal client at Purpose and Flow? Yeah, so our business Purpose and Flow is really focused on anyone that's experiencing or feeling uncomfortably challenged by the transition through the middle, middle years of their life. Uh, more specifically, my, my coaching clients are clinic owners and clinicians within the allied health space that happen to fit into that niche. Um, you know, quite possibly they're practitioners that have got to the point of wondering why and what's it all for. And, um, you know, burnout um, is usually something they're symptomatic of, or if not burnout, feeling disempowered or just stuck in their current situation. Um, usually they're high motivated uh, self-learners, over, overachievers, type A personality traits, that sort, of, that sort of person. All right. Well, question two with about six minutes left. So what's the problem you solve for us struggling health business owners and professionals? Yeah, well, I focus on guiding and, client, uh, and guiding clients to prevent and or solve clinic owner burnout. Um, so burnout's an end stage diagnosis. And my belief is that it begins as compassion fatigue um, and throughout this um, sense of languish creeps into um, more of a severe presentation, which is, you know, burnout. So the symptoms there are usually energy depletion, mental fatigue, um, distancing, um, and this goes on to affect other areas of their life and, um, and can manifest as sometimes dysfunctional life outcomes. Right. Sounds great. So, Chris, so sounds like most of our listeners. So question <laughs> three, so you, you're touching a couple of them. What are the symptoms that people experience with this burnout or potential burnout? What do they, what do they really get in their lives? Yeah. So I think it's just this feeling of people just start out feeling over it and just over it, lack of energy, um, feel like you're at capacity, unable to really give any more. You can keep going, you know, you're functional, but um, it's like this languish that I talk about. And, um, you know, uh, this just then culminates steadily in a, in a more severe presentation of burnout. And so people might be feeling trapped. Um, they might have loss of motivation, anxiety, even some physical issues like muscle tension, headaches, um, stomach aches, digestive issues. There's a whole plethora of those. But um, I think it just begins of this uh, around this feeling of being de-energised and, and lacking and really approaching your capacity. So question four with about four and a half minutes left. So what are the common mistakes people make, Josh, when they try and solve this burnout themselves? What, what, do, they, what do they do when they're trying to solve it? Well, I think the most common mistake is that it's just not really taken seriously. Like they feel like it's just part of the gig. And so, you know, you continue to go on like a bad, wear it like a badge of honour. You know, we toss it there, we tolerate it. We feel it's part of what we signed up for. And this is just, this is just how it goes. Um, but it's not like that. And, and you know, so um, there's more to it. And the second client, uh, mistake I see is um, clients addressing the symptoms and not the root cause. And so, you know, um, self-care strategies like meditation, yoga, mindfulness, they're really good. They will help you with short-term symptoms, but 
Um, you know, we talk we talk to people a lot about aligning their their career with their life vision and being clear about that and acting in accordance with their values as being the things that really address the root cause. Okay, so question five with about three minutes left. So, so what's a valuable free action, Josh? What can our listeners and viewers do if they think they might be suffering from burnout? What what can they do themselves to help them through this? Okay, great. So number one, hit pause. Write yeah. down a vision for your life. Okay, the vision needs to be based around your individual buckets. So the different areas of your life, your family, your career, your kids, um, your relationships, your passions, um, you know, um, understand what a, a vision statement looks like for each of those. And then, um, you know, who are you, who, who is involved in this? What are you doing with your days? Um, and then um, trying to formulate some action plans around some of the, the things that you need to do to bring, bring a picture of this vision to life. Right. Well, question six then with about two and a half minutes left. So what's a valuable free resource? What, what can our audience get? What have you got to help them either diagnose or help this problem? Where can they go? Okay, so I think step one is to head over to our website, um, purposeandflow.com.au. And there's a little resource in the resources drop down called the Career Pulse Check. And this is a pulse check or just a, a, a short five minute survey to try and get um, people to, to uh, work out whether their career is aligned really with their life vision. And so the insights people will pull out of that are a great starting point to, um, to begin to think about this vision um, that you have for your life and all the different areas of your life. Um, on top of that, uh, you know, I'm passionate about transformation. So I think um, what I'd love to do is offer my time, um, my personal experience, and I guess the learnings I've, I've got around this, this area and chat to people over the phone. So I'm offering a, a um, no obligation free call, really, and there's a button on the homepage, big black button that says call, and you can go through the, the portal there to, um, to book a time. Brilliant. So, so the, the career pulse check, uh, purpose and flow, A-N-D, not, not the symbol and, purposeandflow.com.au yep. is where they go? Correct, yeah. All right, yep. get, get on it, guys. That, that's a great resource because we just don't, some of us not in alignment and wonder why we're feeling burnout. It's not all aligned. So about a minute to go, mate. What's the one question I should have asked you that would give great value to our audience today? I thought about this one. Um, I'm going to say, what's the what's the difference between a life coach like me and a business coach like you? Oh, good question. Yeah. And say, do you want me to answer that? I think you should. <laughs> yeah. well, the, other question, the, other, the other question I was going to go with, with why the hell can't I get on my surf ski quickly at the start? But we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> what's, what's the difference between what you do and what I do? Okay. So, you know, I mean, clearly both um, life coaches and business coaches can have an, a specific niche that they speak to. But I think with life coaching, it um, you know, naturally breaks down the intrinsic factors within a person, which um, in turn influences how they move forward. Um, and, you know, helping to create the clarity, the vision, and, and I guess that broad direction for people. And so uh, I think with business coaching, it's, um, it's, so I would look at it as the step kind of before business coaching. You know, I think um, amazing um, services like what you do, Paul, is um, I guess you might see it as the, 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 the building fit out and, and providing the know-how of how to run the house and maximise its efficiency, whereas perhaps life coaching is the, maybe, I don't know, maybe the foundations, maybe the structural work a little bit and, and, um, and you know, that sort of, uh, that foundational work. But both are equally important. Um, I think one complements the other. Almost working out what you're doing it for before you start doing it to a certain extent. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Mate, fantastic, mate. What's the URL again, mate? Where do they go to get the, the pulse check? Yeah, it's purpose and a -N -D flow, purposeandflow.com.au. And um, the drop down menu resources, and then just select career pulse check. Brilliant, mate. I love what you're doing, mate. Greatly needed. So that's kind of why I got you on the program today, because this is, a, this is a, an important thing you guys need to get involved in. So, mate, thanks for joining us on the Practiceology podcast. Yeah, thanks so much, Paul. Pleasure to be here. Now, if you haven't checked out our monthly Practiceology demonstration, head over to mypracticeology.com and we'll see you in the next episode.